Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Brit Reacts, and today we're gonna react to Linda Martell, Bad Cases, or Bad Case of the Blues. This is on Hee Haw in 1970. Let's see what she has to say. <laughs> Linda Martell. <laughs> I love that melody. So Miss Smarty found us a da -da 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 -da. like, ooh, that's lovely. Um, I love her green dress. It's so dainty, so feminine, so cute, so proper. It's just perfect. Uh, I love her hair. I love everything about this. You wanna know why? Because it's in 1970, duh. Um, how did we get here, Britt? <laughs> We've been asking this question a lot lately. I reacted to Beyonce's new country album, Cowboy Carter. I use air quotes because, well, y'all had some, some things to say. Um, but I questioned on the album who Linda Martell was. And I let you guys know that I specifically waited not to Google her because uh, I wanted to hear from you all. And almost no one had anything to say about Linda Martell. Uh, they had a bunch of other things to say, but no one had any information on Linda Martell for me. Uh, and so I, I felt like I had to do some digging. And what I found out was this woman was the first black woman to perform at the Grand Ole Opry. And her career kind of came and went really quickly because she just wasn't well received in Nashville. Like uh, other artists were pushed out before her and people didn't like her because of the color of her skin and they didn't want to hear music from her. And so she quit. She quit. She was like, I don't, it's not worth it. I'm out. I quit. Uh, and so here we are. For me, I think now having that perspective and then knowing she's on Beyonce's new album, I think it's a beautiful thing because I think Beyonce highlighted this woman who was historic in not only country music, but country music for black people. And um, had Beyonce never had her on her album, I would have never thought to listen to her, research her or anything and hear her story or her voice. And so that was really my overwhelming um, final thought on Beyonce's album was that I just appreciated how she pushed the genre forward to people who otherwise would have never even thought to listen to it because they think they're not welcome. They think they don't like it. They think they can't relate to it. They think it's not about them or for them. Um, and so for that, I think if you're a true country lover, you could admit that that's a good thing to bring more people to the genre, to bring more awareness to the genre now. Some of you didn't agree. And you know what I say, we are all welcome to disagree and have our own opinions as long as it is laced with kindness. And no one was awfully like mean to me, at least. I mean, y'all let me know how, how much you cannot stand Beyonce, but don't shoot the messenger. Uh, anyway, long story short, that's how we got here. Actually, long story long. That is how we got here. And I, I love this so far. I think it's great. I've never heard of the show Hee Haw, but the gentleman that introduced her looked familiar. And I feel like I have reacted to a song of his. I just cannot think of his name or the song. So let me know in the comments. Let's keep going. And the next night, and he's her sitting with a bad case of the blue. Blue. Your lady. She yodels. She yodels, yodela, she, that's great. I also love this kind of like side smirk she's giving us. It's like as she's singing, it's like in this smirky, cheeky, sassy kind of thing. I love it. I'm looking at her and I'm like, we have similar uh, shaped faces. She has a pointy chin like me, which used to be like a really big insecurity of mine. <laughs> How pointy, especially when I smile. But look at her. She. We literally have the same like, well, I don't know what shape face this is, but we have it. And I love it. All right, I'm into it. She's yodeling now. I'm super happy. Yeah. 
Yeah, girl. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. Herself out. Aww. I said, Mama, he tells me that he loves me, and then he's out with another. I said, Mama, he the cadence, the melody, the rhythm in this song is undeniably fantastic. Are you kidding me? I hate that she just like, you know, I'm not gonna say like shame on her for giving up because I get it I get it some people just are not built to fight the good fight like it's just like it's not worth it for them she probably much preferred her peace and her quiet and her life and her happiness to fighting to be heard in a genre and in an industry that didn't welcome her you know everyone is not meant to fight the good fight and that's okay but I just hate that because she's so talented her voice is gorgeous and like this song is perfection it's so good. And he loves me, and then he's out with another. And it's gotten me right down to the last square on the checkerboard. <laughs> last square on the checkerboard. You're Checkmate. Me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here it comes. So like, yeah, she seemed like a very humble, quiet, like type of lady who just wasn't up for all the nonsense. I tell you what, though, there is absolutely positively no way no one couldn't like her because she wasn't talented. She didn't have a beautiful voice. She had all of those things. So it is quite clear she wasn't welcomed for other reasons. And I think I can say that I can say that super confidently without being a concert conspiracy theorist or you know like oh, race is a thing but I do think in this situation um there was no other reason not to welcome her she sounded just as good if not better than her counterparts in this era the music was great the lyrics were great it was a story just like country the the, the melody and in the in the music was country so like what other reason was there not to welcome her and I hate that. I think it's what a disservice to country music to not get this woman in her full potential and for many, many decades, like some of the other greats, you know, and obviously the genre has evolved since then. And so beautifully, there's now so much inclusion and I think it's amazing, but I just hate that we missed out on hearing this lady's voice more. And uh, in the, in the uh, description of this video, it says it's one of her only TV performances. So that goes to show you she didn't stick around long. She was like, I'm out of here. With that being said, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Send it to someone you care about. And go and have the day you deserve. Bye.